Get ready. Hey Disney lovers and welcome back. We're going to do something different this week and for the next couple of months. I'm going to take you through the Disney eras, show you what Walt Disney Animation Studio cartoon films came out in that era and also give you my top pick of them. I'll also try and give you some information about each film too. I also want to know if you agree or disagree with my tops and tell us your top favourites in the comments section too. There are seven eras in total and we will look at each one before moving on to Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars and live action Disney films. If you're new to the channel, thanks for joining us. We make Disney videos every Wednesday and geeky videos on a Monday, but with lots of other random video drops throughout the month too. So make sure you click that subscription button and the notification bell to keep up to date. To kick off, we will be looking at the golden era of Disney, which is 1937 to 1942. I didn't name these eras, by the way, and can be argued that the different eras are golden, but we will just go with it. But this era kicked off Walt Disney Animation feature length films. Now, there are only seven films in total, so I will do my top five, but we'll mention the other films. I have never seen these two films, uh, so that is why I haven't ranked them. So let's talk about the first one, and it is The Reluctant Dragon, a film from 1941, so right at the end of the era. I have never heard of this before. It feels like a behind-the-scenes documentary, but it isn't really, and it does end then with an animated film. The synopsis of it is, Hollywood funny man Robert Benchley is on his way to Walt Disney to present a movie idea called The Reluctant Dragon. As he stumbles across the maze of the Disney studio, he discovers how animation is created through art, sound, colour and technology. Along the way, he meets Donald, Pluto, Goofy and other Disney favourites, witnesses the birth of Baby Weems, a brilliantly funny animated work in progress, and enjoys the complete animated short The Reluctant Dragon. Well, this does feel like a different kind of Disney film and sounds like quite a funny film to watch. It is on Disney Plus, so if you're stuck for a film to watch and want to watch an oldie, then this might be one. I know I will be watching it as it has piqued my curiosity. The second is Saludos Amigos. Now, this is a confusing one as Disney Plus states that it was released in 1943, but everywhere else, including IMDb, states August 1942 so we will go with the majority. This is another one similar to Reluctant Dragon, where there's a live action of Walt Disney giving a tour of the animation studio, but then the action shifts to South America where a collection of both stock and new characters appear in a series of short films. The film runs at 42 minutes, so it's not quite feature length, but since there aren't that many in the golden era, I thought I would just feature it anyway. It does look like a fun collection of original Disney cartoons, so it may be worth a watch sometime. But let's kick off the rankings with number five, and for me, it is Dumbo. So for those who don't know, Dumbo is the story of a baby elephant with very large ears, and he finds out that he can fly with them, or rather glide. He is a circus elephant, so has to perform for people, but with the help of his friend Timothy Q. Mouse, he uses his ears to soar to fame. This is another 1941 film, and it is only just 63 minutes long. I've never really connected with this film, in all honesty, and that's why it's number five. Not saying I don't like it, but to me it feels too short and not enough content. It is on Disney Plus and it is interesting that it states it may contain outdated cultural depictions. This is a way of Disney being able to keep showing these films without backlash and it is true. This was almost 80 years ago and the world has greatly changed since then for the better in regards to cultural understanding. But we cannot just erase all these films. But enough politics, let's just carry on. In 2019, Disney did release Dumbo as a live action film with a running time of 1 hour and 56 minutes. So maybe I'll give that a watch and maybe they have updated the cultural issues. We shall see. Number four is Bambi, which was released in August 1942. So it would be the last film of the golden era before America joined World War II. But we will come to that later. This is a beautiful piece of animation where Bambi sets off with his friends Thumper and Flower to explore the wonders and challenges of the woods. Now this is an interesting fact, apparently Bambi is a prince of the woods, so why don't we see him as a Disney prince? Hmm. I think people find him cuter than Prince Charming. Anyways, running time for this is an hour and 11 minutes, so again, not a majorly long film. 
but warning everyone gets sad with the death of his mother um which oops uh, spoiler but if you didn't know that by now then are you actually a disney fan only joking let's crack on with the next film the first disney feature length film comes in at number three which is snow white and the seven dwarves those of you who have been watching my videos from the start would know that i cannot stand snow white's voice and the only reason it is above dumbo and bambi is because of the dwarves pretty much they have some great songs too and even whistle why we work is good if somebody else sings it but anyways like i said this was the first disney feature length film released in 1937 and the running time is at a much better one hour and 24 minutes so for those who don't know snow white is the story of a beautiful princess whose evil stepmother is jealous of her beauty so orders her to be killed when the huntsman couldn't do it he tells her to run away where she bumps into seven dwarves they form a strong bond of friendship and help her against the evil queen and reunite her with her true love it has been said it is the greatest animated film of all time i strongly disagree but what about you my favorite dwarf has always been dopey but i want to know what yours is just pop a comment down below coming in at number two is fantasia now if you haven't watched this film then it is a must see it is a masterpiece that blends classical music with innovative imagination it has eight different sections in it one of which is the sorcerer mickey film it is a beautiful film both visually and musically it came out in 1940 and is the longest of the golden era films running at two hours and six minutes when the nights come in and it's cold outside get your favorite takeaway or a cup of hot chocolate snuggle up with the family and watch this great film finally at number one we have pinocchio i loved this film as a child even though parts of it scared me the parts in the theme park scene it is a lovely story where puppet maker geppetto has a wish comes to life as a little wooden boy pinocchio learns from his friend and conscience jiminy cricket and embarks on a fantastic adventures to test his bravery loyalty and honesty in his pursuit to become a real boy this is to be one of my top 10 disney films of all time i just love it because of the love of geppetto has for pinocchio and that pinocchio is like every child makes mistakes and must learn from them this film came out in 1940 and is just shy of an hour and a half long that is it for my top five of disney golden era films i want to know what your top golden era films are from those seven films so pop a comment down below next week we'll be looking at the wartime era so bambi was the last film before america joined the second world war on december 7th 1942 after pearl harbor was attacked so the next week i will not be ranking the videos but telling you more about them as they are not well-known films if you haven't yet, it would mean the world to us if you would hit that subscribe button for you to keep up to date with all Disney Plus UK items as well as other videos. If you'd like to support the channel, then you can tip us using the link displayed on the screen and in the description. Other ways you can support us is to share this video with your friends. We love talking to new people, so share it with other Disney lovers and pop a comment down and let's get chatting. Thanks very much for watching. We greatly appreciate every one of you who takes the time to watch our videos and interact with us. We wish you a very happy and magical day, but until next time.